Greetings, and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky, the Belt Diva, holder of the Sacred Chalice of Lubricant, heir to the Holy Gears of Novice. And if you know that reference, you get a whopping 50 internet points. They will be delivered to you uh, at some point. Anyway, uh, first of all, I am really excited to get back to the game. I haven't played Factorio in quite a while. Um, I've been working on other projects, but I'm really excited to get back because it is like probably my favorite game of all time. I love Factorio so much. Um, anyway, huge, huge thank you, first of all, to my patrons who I absolutely love. You guys are great. You make my life possible. You literally put food on my table and shelter, uh, you know, house, cats. The cats are alive because of you. We can feed them and, and have a happy home for them and all the things. So thank you so much. And if you want to become a patron, there is a link in the description below. Also, thank you to just people who send a donation, a one-time donation here and there uh, people who watch the videos who comment and and like and subscribe I hate saying those words all together but they really help the algorithm and they help spread the love of Factorio and and this kind of crazy world that we love to live in as factory people so anyway I have decided I there were a few choices for a series but I had this wild idea today to do like a series um, first of all, I am going to be recording this series, um, ahead of time because one of the, I really hate backseat gaming and I, I like to figure things out on my own. I don't like people to tell me what to do. I like to just enjoy it, figure it out, puzzle it out. That's the whole fun of playing Factorio for me. But if you want to write a comment, uh, to help other people, I do actually read all of my comments, but they're going to be read after the fact, just, you know, FYI. Um, because I am going on a trip soon and I won't be able to record while I'm away. So I just want to get the whole series organized or at least most of it. Um, so that you can have uninterrupted watching while I am on my trip. So anyway, um, we're gonna play a mod today that I've never played before. And this is exciting because I love doing things I've never done before. So um, we're gonna look at the mods right now. This one is called 248K Mod. Now this is by Prele Zero. I, uh, there's not a lot of information other than the mod page on this, I think. So um, we're just gonna play it by itself. They say you can play it with Crestorio too, but I kind of like to separate the mods until I figure out you know, each one and what it does and all that kind of stuff. But you can also play it with space exploration or other things. So um, we're just gonna play that as our major mod pack and I'm really excited about it. There are four stages of tech. Check out the uh, mod page. It's really interesting. There's a lot of information there. And um, yeah, it looks cool, looks cool. We're gonna see what it's like. I've never played it, so I have no clue. It might be terrible, it might be great. We're gonna find out. Uh, we're gonna use Afraid of the Dark, which is basically for YouTube to make the area around the character brighter because YouTube does this thing where it like darkens videos and it's hard to see. Alien Biomes by the wonderful Irondel. Um, Irondel also has a Patreon page and uh, you can support uh, his work as well. I have used Alien Biomes for years and it's an amazing mod that just completely changes the landscape, really refreshes the Factorio experience. And, I, and I've chosen a map that's kind of cool. So I'm hoping you will enjoy that. We have auto deconstruct this mod. Basically, whenever a miner runs out of ore underneath it, it will deconstruct the miner. And also it does a thing where if it's inputting into a chest, like in the picture here, it'll also deconstruct that chest. We have the base mod, which is just the Factorio thing. And Disco Science, I decided to add because it's pretty rainbow lights in the uh, labs where if you add red science, it'll flash red. If you do red and green, it'll do red and green. And you know, the more colors you add, the more colors it'll flash. It also works with other mods. Then we have Factorio standard library required for many mods. FNEI, which is gonna help us a lot because it helps us look up recipes and how things are created. Max rate calculator. I forgot how to use this, but I think we're gonna need it. It's basically a thing where you can like select things on the landscape. You can select like X amount of assemblers and it'll tell you how many you need to feed them on how many they feed other machines. And for something where we're not gonna have the regular calculator available because this is a mod pack, um, this might help us a little bit. We might also use factory planner. I didn't add that one just now. It's a little bit uh, like 
Oh dear, well, there's another one. It, it basically calculates ratios for you, but we're going to see if we can make things work. Nanobots, I love nanobots, early bots. Um, they're just really handy. I really hate hand building. So they're going to give us robots early. They are not logistics bots. They are only construction robots and they are consumable. So you got to pay for them. So there's a little bit of a balance there. Uh, also, we have some silly mods. <laughs> Renai Transportation. Uh, this makes trains fly up into the air on ramps and stuff like that. I find it hilarious. I've never used it before. It also does the same with some uh, like inserters throwing things quite a distance and stuff. So uh, I don't know how it works, but it seems fun. So we might do a little bit of that just for fun's sake. Uh, then we have Squeak Through. This is a thing. Okay, so I don't get how the character runs into trees and cannot move through trees. I don't get that. I, as a person, I have never face planted into a tree or a door or a column or anything. Never in my entire life. And since my character is based off of me and is also robotic, just like me, um, it has uh, advanced uh, visual sensors and it will not run into trees. Um, this also basically it makes the hitboxes for our different items smaller so you can walk between solar panels and other things like that Then we have train trails uh, This person Asher sky has a number of fun little mods like you can have your train engine rotate RGB colors like rainbowy It's really cool train trails gives the trains like crazy rainbow trails and I'm like yes this is awesome so we're gonna try that if it's too distracting we can always turn it off anyway and then I have tree x-ray which is nice because if you're in a crowded area and you want to see what's underneath you you can just use tree x-ray and it basically uh, just shows like sort of cuts off the top of the trees so you can see underneath it, it doesn't actually chop them it just uh, lets you see uh, so we're gonna just say yay confirm and I have started a new game. It's just in free play mode here. And this is our map that we're gonna use. As you can see, it's different than the standard colors because we are yeah, playing with alien biomes, which I love because Irindel has done all the things and has like created new trees and bushes and decorations and stuff and like new colors of landscape. As you see, we're going to start right here in this area. And then to the right, we have uh, some coal down here and copper. I got to remember it, right? Coal and copper or yeah, see coal, copper to the east. Don't know how I'm going to remember that. But anyway, and then we have some iron down here. So iron and oil are going to be to the south. So we want to go east and south in general. There's another oil patch up here, which looks great. Oh, you know what? I think I should turn off the biters. I don't like biters. I just don't like them. So we're not going to have them. I don't, I don't see a reason for them. And therefore we can also turn off pollution because pollution only affects biters. So I'm going to turn them off. I just, I'm just like, nope, I'm done. Biters are not interesting to me. They are maybe they're, they're a nuisance in the beginning of the game. And then they just become very boring because you just got to clear them out wherever you go. So I don't find that interesting gameplay. So we're not going to play with them. Uh, if you want to play with biters, feel free. I have um, uploaded this uh, map string. You can import it through this little button here on the left if you want to play the same string as I am. Note, you have to have alien biomes for it to generate the same way. Um, and I am using the high res version, by the way. Uh, but anyway, that's in the Google Drive, which is linked in the description below. So let's get going. Let's play this game. I'm excited. So with the uh, H264, no, 248. Oh my God, I can't even remember the number. The 248K, uh, you can choose it to be integrated or you can choose it to be like added onto a, uh, a game that you've already started. So I've chosen to be integrated because we've started a brand new game. Okay. This is Factorio Free Play. We know. Thank you. Okay, I'm used to like clicking and moving. I've been playing a lot of Lost Ark. Uh, all right, let's take everything. Wait, that was wrong. Oh, oh my God. Okay, apparently this. Wait. I don't understand. Oh, this is this is the character on the left. All right. Why? I thought the spaceship held like a billion things. Did they change that? No. Wait. Hold on. Let me just do, is it alt mode? Yeah, there we go. Okay, I'm just gonna, we're gonna control click on all of these because they're all like chests, like tiny chests. That's weird. I thought this used to have a massive space. 
I don't know. That's weird. All right. Anyway, first things first, we need to get some power going. We need to get some mining going. First of all, we have miners in our inventory here. And let's put this there. These are just a hot bar that we can use. All right. How do we use this again? I have completely forgotten how to use these things. Jeez. It has been a long time since I've played. Okay, so iron is down there, I think. Let's see if I can find it. I believe it's here. Yep, there we go. Iron. Yay. So we need iron first. Um, and iron can go into a box. We don't actually have a box yet. We need to get some wood. So I'm just going to chop some of these trees on top of the iron thing. Let's see, E for crafting. All right, let's just craft a whole bunch of boxes. And then we want to target the rocks that have more than just rock in them. They have coal. Hello? Are there any? Okay, usually it's the bigger ones. So this is a bigger one that has coal in it. I don't want to walk all the way back to the coal if I don't have to. Here's another one. Okay, that's good. So we're just going to do this. And, oh, whoops, sorry. I did wrong there. Okay, duh. help. Wait, clear, Q, hand, yes. And then I want to put the coal over here so I can just easily shove it into a machine. All right, and there we go. Okay, so that's going to mine us some iron for a minute here. Um, I want to look for more rocks with coal in them. This is by far the fastest way of generating coal if you can get these rocks to give it to you. But it looks like we're kind of short on those sort of rocks. Oh, wait, there's a couple here. But yeah, we're gonna need some iron to make some more of those drills. Ah, this is nice. I think we have enough to do some stuff now. This is good. This is exciting. Are you all excited about this? I am excited to get back to factory. It has been ages and ages and ages. Okay. Oh, wait. I didn't want it to go in a box. What am I thinking? I was thinking wrong. I thinking the wrong thing. Okay. So now we want to put half here and half there. So what I did is press control and right click on each one. Okay. So how many do I need for a, is it like nine or something? Oh no, it's not. It's only three plates and three gears, which is how much raw it is nine. I did remember. Okay. What is this? Bounce pads. Oh, those are from Renai Ch Transportation. Yeah, this is fun. This is going to be interesting. Ha! It's good. Okay, so I also want to make a few of these. Let's just make all of them. Wait, is it shift click? There we go. Shift click to make all. And then we're just going to have that feed directly. You see the little arrow there? That means it's going to feed directly into that item. And I can make another one of these. Hooray. Okay, come on, make the gears, make the things. Let's go, go, go. All right, good. And then another. All right, so now we need to figure out a way to share all of this stuff. Jeez. I think I need more coal. Definitely need more coal. But what I do need is I want to make some more of these burner miners. Kind of important there. Is that enough? I need two. I really just need two to start off with. And that means I can start making or um, start coal production. So we're going to do that. We're going to start coal production over here. Uh, and what these do, these are going to self-feed, which is quite nice. Let's see, we just need... Oh, we don't need all of it. We just need one. I forgot how to do one. I think it's Z to drop it in, but... So anyway, these are going to feed each other. And then we're going to collect from them when we're in need of coal, which is right now, but they haven't done anything yet. So we've got to wait a tiny bit. Okay. Very good. Very good. Uh, let's make some more of these. The more the merrier. We are intending to be merry. Trust you me. Merry is good. Okay. So here we go. That, that, and that. And that means we have a little bit of coal. So those are going to feed each other. It's going to be fine. I probably should have left one in. Notice I got a little bit off there. 
Okay, very good. Oh, the iron is happening. Can you feel it? It's like the buzz of the beginning factory. It's like the stillness and silence before things get crazy. It's great. It's like this lonely planet that we're, we're the only people on. And it's just waiting. It's waiting to be like converted into this thriving factory metropolis of belts and bots and all the things. It's fantastic. It is fantastic. Just gathering a lot of stone here. Soon we'll be able to get stone into other thingies. But we want to... Let's go and grab some coal first, and then we'll feed those um, iron makers. And then we might even get in some copper makers as well. Okay. Let's see. Let's put in a couple more of these iron makey thingies. And just go across and across. Good. That's many more iron plates. Okay, I can do another five here. Which is great, because we also need copper. Copper is going to be needed. I don't remember. I think it is needed for science. We do have our first science. We do need copper plates for that science. Uh, so we'll get a couple set up here. We really don't need many copper miners. Really don't. So hold off. It's much better if you make iron ones. Okay, there we go. So those are going to work for us. Grab a little bit more coal as we go back down. Let's see, do we have... We don't even have... We do have belts, actually. Look at that. Nice. Forgot if we started with belts or not. Um, but yeah, we do. We definitely do. Okay, let's see. Let's get two more. And now we make miners for, whoopsies, excuse me, there we go. We will extend our supply of coal makers, because that's the next thing we need to do. We can do two and then up, there we go. Nice, so that's gonna extend our coal chain. You can chain them any way you want, any direction you want. It can be a very squiggly snake if you feel like it. I was just going to do it that way. Okay, nice. Uh, we do these in lines, by the way, so that you can just easily grab them out of them. Oh, no, night, bad meat. Okay, we need more stuff. Definitely more stuff. We also are going to need, uh, we're going to start to build some steam engines and stuff. So let's build 10 steam engines. That seems like enough. Or 10 boilers. We probably need less than that. A lot less than that. <laughs> A lot less than that. I don't know why I built that many, but we can build, we need two steam engines per boiler. Okay, let's just get this going. There we go. Let's make like four of them. I'll wait till I have... Well, actually I can make them now and then I'll just do one more after that. So I can start crafting. All the gears do take a tiny bit of time to craft. Let's go up here and grab some copper. I've been a little bit lax on that. one more and then we build the initial uh where's the pump okay we need one of these and a few of these there's the pump offshore pump we need one of those 
All right, so we're actually really conveniently located for all the things in this particular uh, map here. Uh, mostly, it was really difficult to generate a map because, as you see, there's a lot of water on this map, and so it eats a lot of the resources. I kind of wanted one where um, oil was not horribly far away, so that was basically how we made this map. Yes. All right, let's get this going over here, and we're going to just take these pipes. Go there, okay, and then we want to do our boilers. Okay, we're going to do two space like that. And then we get our steam engines behind these like this. Now, if I remember correctly, it's to one pump. Uh, one pump can generate enough water for, I think it's 20 steam engines and 10 boilers. I might be wrong on that. I'll, I'll check it before the next episode. But yeah, I think that's what we are going to have here. Uh, all right, we need to get power poles as well. I need to go and grab probably more wood. I think I'm shorter on wood than I am on copper. Yeah, we have a bit of copper, so that's fine. Okay. But yeah, we need trees to provide us with power poles. Sorry, trees, you're going to be turned into power poles. We apologize for the inconvenience. Just like completely deleting these trees. Poor things. I do feel very sad. There's a really cool documentary called The Secret Life of Trees, which is just amazing. Uh, highly recommended that you watch it. It will change the way you think about um, plants. It's great. Okay, so we have things happening here. Uh, we do need to have power poles there. And I think we'll take one up this way, maybe, to have some production right there. Now then, we also are going to need some, probably some, yep, some conveyor belts, because I am, after all, the belt diva. Uh, that is very important to have the things that we need here. Um, but we're going to make some factories very soon, but we need to make some red science. That's the most important thing, is getting that red science produced so that we can actually do stuff. So the stuff that we're going to do, wow, we have new stuff already. Hello. Hello. Where are you from? Renai Transportation. We're going to skip that for now. We're going to do automation. Uh, did I enable the research queue? I bet I didn't. Oh, I didn't. Oh, that's sad. Uh, okay. Well, apparently we don't get research queue until the end of the game. Uh, I might look at... I think there's a... I'm not sure if it's this way or... Um, yeah, there's a, there's a console command for it. I will go ahead and enable that because I really would like the research queue. Oh my god. All right, and so for um, for these, I usually do burner inserters to put the um, coal into the steam engines. Okay, so let's see. Let's move this down there. And I want to move belts here. Okay, that's fine. And then usually I have this one here. And you can go... Wait, that, why didn't that replace? That was weird. Anyway, um, let's see. Usually I have... What do I have here? I think I have inserters there, which we don't have yet, of course. I can't click that either. Mm, okay, well, look at this. Thrower burner inserters and thrower regular <laughs> inserters. <laughs> Has been rewired to throw items 15 tiles through the air. Oh my god, I feel like I should do that. You want to try it? Let's try it. Range can be configured. Okay, let's get one of these maybe i don't know i don't know how this is we're gonna work but we're gonna try it okay so we have 15 research right now we do just probably need to build a lab let me go ahead and cancel that one um and we're gonna build a lab or five sure that sounds fancy uh what we want to do here is have a belt going this way and we can maybe throw the coal i'm thinking about that that seems fun uh, that seems good. And But we need to get the electric miners for that. And that requires, looks like it requires more iron. So let's go and get more iron. Okay, we definitely need to have... We need the labs. That's what we really desperately need is labs here. 
But let's see that thrower inserter. wonder how that works. Oh, here we go. Okay, it's going to throw it there. That seems fun. Can I do this as well? Cannot reach. Oh, wait, I have to go up here. Okay. Can I do that? Let's see how this works. Uh, let's see. If we do this and like that. If we grab a power pole here. Okay, we do need some coal to start up these boilers. But after that, should be good to go. All right, let's get these burners over here. I use burners so that they can self-fuel. Okay, hello? Hello? Disabled by script. Wait, why? Why is it disabled? Hello? Default F. Range can be configured. No, it's not doing anything. Why is it not doing anything? Why is it disabled? I haven't done anything to it. I just didn't do anything. Let's try one more time. Okay, disabled by script. Well, darn it! Why can this not be fixed? Like, what is going on with this? Alright, well. You don't want me to use you? Fine. I don't have to. I got better things to do. Alright, let's get this stuff going on here. And let's also place some labs. Here we go. Now we're going to have automatic coal delivery very shortly. I'm going to go ahead and put down a couple of labs here. Uh, probably there and here for now. And then feed them with our potions of redness. So this is disco science, by the way. They no longer flash the regular blue. They just flash the, the color that's in there. It's kind of cool. It's really cool, in fact. All right, I'm going to make some inserters while we're researching automation. Let's see. All right, so we have this still going there. Okay, so... What we need is just to have electric miners up there because those are going to... Like this one ran out of juice already. And they're going to kind of do that in turn. Um, but we're going to get automation very shortly. So yay. You can increase the research speed by adding more labs and then just like distributing it between them. Because you see they have a progress bar, kind of. Well, not kind of. They do have a progress bar. Let's see. Uh, gun turrets we don't care about. We don't really care about anything military right now. Uh, electronics. What does that get us again? Oh, signal processing. Logistics. That's the next one we should always do next is logistics. Now, I do want to start creating some assemblers. Hello. There they are. Okay, we need copper for those. And we definitely need some coal over here, too. Okay. Very good. Very good. Okay. Assemblers being made right now. Hooray. So we're getting a little bit of coal. Let's get some more iron, because I'm sure that we need them. Need it. Yeah, again, control click and just drag across and you grab all that iron into your inventory. It's fantastic. All right, so we are going to put... Did we get any assemblers yet? Not yet. Okay, so let's get a couple more uh, in the queue here. We need a whole bunch of... We also need a whole bunch of inserters. And I do want to get these assemblers onto the hotbar as soon as they're made. Let's see, we can choose it from here. Gosh, there's a lot of things on here, isn't it? Okay, so assemblers there. Uh, oops, I probably should move them there. I usually have inserters and stuff over here. So let's put inserters there. And pipes I usually have here. This one first. Then I have that one. Then I usually, I think I have the power poles. I don't know. I don't remember. It's been such a long time. Unfortunately, a long time because I really love this game. Okay, so we need to get these things happening here. 
I need to figure out how to do this. There, there's a nice little uh, pattern that I usually use for this one. Also, you can do shift right click and shift left click. Shift right click is copy. Shift left click is paste. Um, oh yes, now I remember. Okay, and then Q is copy uh, the building. Then we're gonna do this, and this is gonna be making us gears. Yes, okay, so now we have a thing which has been, I need to change this a bit. I need to move these guys because we don't have enough space. Because there is another thing that we need to do like this. There, no. There we go. Okay, so, and then we need a box here and there. And this box is going to hold materials for us. Now what we can do here is look at the ratio here. So we need, uh, two iron plates to every one copper plate. So as we fill these, we're going to do two iron plates and one copper plate. And that is how this is going to function. This is a really easy way to look at things and make it work. So now we just need more materials. And basically, uh, this inserter is going to feed the gear machine. The gear machine is fast enough to feed both of these. So, and then this one is going to get the copper plate from there. And they are automatically going to feed the science into the labs, which is very handy. Now we really need to get some uh, electric miners there. But I also want to make some other things, namely some um, some green circuits. So green circuits require copper cable and iron plates. So we actually need to get, I think we need the bigger, uh, how do we want to do this? Hold on. Let's see if this one is making copper cable. And then we have another one, two, three. I guess we'll do it this way. It's fine. This is going to be okay. So copper there and then iron there. And then we need a long-handed inserter to cross the gap, uh, which is going to be here. Okay, we want that one. So then long-handed inserter. I'll just put that on the bar there. Go across, please. And then we're going to have another one putting into a box there. Now we just need power and we need materials. So copper or green green thingies need one uh, iron to one and a half copper. So, oh, we don't have enough iron. Let's go and get some iron real quick. Let's get some iron. And now that we actually have an electrical network, we can change these over to be electrical miners instead of being uh, burner miners. Kind of an important step along the way. So let's go ahead and put in uh, the science thingy here. Remember two iron to one copper. And this one was one and a half uh, copper to one iron. Okay, so there we go. So now we're gonna have a machine making these. It's also nice to have machines making gears. So I'm gonna make one of those as well. We need an in and an out box there. And we're just going to put in lots of copper. I mean, lots of iron for that one. There we go. Oh, sorry. I forgot to schedule the recipe there. Very nice. Good, good. All right. Well, this is exciting. Um, now then, let's grab some copper again. And I also, I really want to make these electrical miners. Uh, those are important, but we need some of the other things that we are actually making. They do require the green circuits as well as the gears. So we're just going to get that stuff. I think I'm going to start uh, just taking some power poles up here. Just run them up as we're going along. That's kind of a nice thing that can be done. Put this one there. Okay, very good. This is looking fabulous so far. I am quite happy with the progress. There we go. Uh, all right, so let's make some mining drills. First things first, I think we need to make mining drills for the uh, coal. That is going to be our sustainability for this thing. I'm not sure if I should make an explicit power supply just for coal. I am considering it. It might, we might need to. Okay, so here we have our electric miners. Let's put that on the bar there. Uh, notice that the miner... Uh, covers an area of five by five. However, I'm going to put them all next to each other because I want the throughput. I want more coal uh, for the space. That is uh, a thing. 
that I desire. Oh, whoops. Let's see, I should put this one here instead. We'll just have power poles going along the back, I think, there. Alright, let's go pick up some more items. Alrighty, good. Ah, oh, this is exciting. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, let's see if I can make some more of these. Oh, I cannot. I need more iron plates. And then we need to make a proper smelting column as well. But I am quite happy and gratified at our current progress. This is quite good. Very good, very good. Okay, so we have this going. We need to... Let's make iron. Um, we need to do... Let's do an iron thing. Let's do a, a, a column for iron, a smelting column. Oh, okay. What's interesting about this mod pack I read is they don't add any extra, like, mineable resources to the world, which makes it possible for you to um, continue with um, a current playthrough and just add it to a current playthrough, which is kind of interesting. It's an interesting idea. Not many mod packs do that. So, um... Oh, there's a tree or something here. Um, but yeah, it's, it's kind of cool. What they do is actually, they distill the, um, the things down into other materials later. Kind of like the refining that Bob's Mods does or Angel's. Okay, there we go. Now we have iron. At least partly iron onto a belt. This is good. Okay, and what I want to do is we want to figure out the bus. Where is this bus going to go? I have no idea yet. I'm really clueless about that. But we're going to try to figure it out. Okay, let's grab these and these. And that's going to give us... We also need uh, power poles. We really need those. Oh, we have wood and stuff, so that's great. Okay, let's do a little bit of more, more choppy choppy. I'm really excited to get nanobots. That's going to make our lives better. Also, we need to figure out the research, too. Let's see what we got here. We can actually do nanobots. Let's go ahead and start that research. I really like that because I don't find chopping trees very exciting. I mean, I get, like, for the first two minutes, that's fine. But after that, it's like, nope. I just want to play the game. I just want to make a factory. I don't want to have to, like, hand mine stuff. All right. What I think is, why not make the bus going this way? This is, There's a crazy amount of space here. And I think that would be really good. I feel like we should... Oh, it's going to be a long, a long haul with belts here. But I think it's worth it to move the smelting out that way. I think it might be worth it. We're just going to have to have lots of belts. So we need a belt maker, actually. Um, what we might want to do, though, is I'm going to set up a few of these guys. And output them. Let's output them onto a another belt. Okay. And that can just go into a box. Okay. And we're just going to copy there. Okay. Very good. Um, and I'm just going to put in coal in these uh, thingies. Because we're going to need iron plates. I feel like we're not going to have enough belts to get to where I want to go. So we need to just have a temporary supply of those for now. Nope, that was wrong. That was wrong. Oh, we don't have any more anyway. Okay, well, that's that's all we get, I guess. Um, we are going to need more of these furnaces. That's important. Uh, hmm. Let's see, let's take the belts upward and go to... Actually, we don't even need to put them in a box. I've kind of forgotten that we don't need that. And the reason we don't need that... Oopsies, this is not good. The reason we don't need it is because each furnace can hold up to 100 iron plates. They're kind of like storage boxes themselves. Alright, let's just take this. We're going to have all these belts coming through here as a thing for... There we go. Okay. Let's take 
this and all the iron plates. Grab them all. Now we have a few things. We can also just put these in here as well. There we go. And just empty out our inventory of those. So, all right. So now we have stuff. We have things. Alrighty. Uh, I just had to quickly look up the ratios again for this. We actually need 30 miners to fill one belt of yellow. And then we're going to need 48 smelters to also process that into uh, stuff. So we need a lot of stuff here. We need more of these guys. A little, little bit more there. And then we're going to need quite a lot of belt to do this as well. Maybe what I should do here is just set up uh, a thing here to actually make belts for us on repeat. Okay, so if we do this and one, yeah, okay, cool. We need gears here, and then here we're going to make belts. Okay, they need iron plates and gears, yep. Oh, oops, okay, gears. There you go. Nice. It's so funny, like, as much as you think you've forgotten, it gets better. It gets better. It's just fine. You really haven't forgotten as much as you thought. Oh, yes, that's what I used to have here. I think, okay, let's move these icons down there. So the first line has to be the undergroundies and stuff. That's right. Okay, undergroundies, and then we have splittery doos. And then we used to have one, I think we used to have like fast inserters there because I really loved having those. And um, okay, so why is this not functioning? Oh, it has too many already. Okay, so what we need to do is since there are, this is going to be um, too many to output with one inserter, we need two inserters for this. Okay, there we go. And belts are happening. Hooray, on repeat. Yay. Okay, and we have uh, this sort of working. Do we have enough? Uh, we have a little bit of stuff. I think we should feed this there and then maybe feed the green circuit one some stuff. Because that's kind of important. Oh, that's the wrong box. Okay, let me just grab these uh, copper bits and pieces. And we'll also feed them some coal so they continue functioning. I put this one in the wrong box. There we go. That's better. Nice. Okay, so we actually have some automation here, which is kind of great. Let's just grab these. Wow, already 60 transport belts or 68 transport belts. That's crazy good. Now then, all right. We, I'm going to try to um, not use any blueprints. I think there's only, we might use them all. We probably won't. Um, because we're going to have a lot of different stuff in this particular playthrough with a different mod pack. So what I'm thinking is that I would like to... The only one I might use is like the building train because that's... Um, but I will explain it when I do it. So, but everything else I kind of want to build just from scratch. Um, if I remember how to do so. So, um, this one, there is a lovely design uh, that was created... Oh, we need, we need more iron for this. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Go away. Go away. I think I might need a belt going backward here to walk on. <laughs> I feel like that might be a thing. All right. Because you do actually move on the belt. Let's see. There's a, there's a technology called belt immunity. And I'm like, why would you ever use that? I mean, I, I never do. I mean... I like having going fast along the belts. It's one of my favorite things. So glad they added that into the game. It's very cool. Okay, now we go. Let's collect these. Let's collect the iron. Let's collect this iron. Okay, so we have a little bit of iron here. I want to make undergroundies and splittery doos. We need several of each. So I just queued a little bit there. All right, good. And these are going to keep making and life is going to be better. So yay, the yay is real. Um, but there's a lovely, lovely design for this. And I want to make sure 
that I can get the required number of these guys. We need 24 on each side. So I'm just gonna start and we're gonna, how many is that? Let's see, if we control C, copy, we have 11. Okay, so that's 11. We need actually twice this amount. So if we copy this, wait, hold on. Copy the whole thingy majingy. We need to go here like that. And that is where we're going to have our enough, our enough. Yes, this is, these are words we're using. <laughs> oh my God. I apologize for this interesting mm, words, but it's okay. I, I speak English mostly and um, select words of other languages. It just depends. Uh, all right. So we're going to use, let's get belts. We need belts along here on the outside and then belts on the inside. Obviously, so this takes a lot of belts. So we're going to have to go back and just get them. All right, there we go. This is fun. Very fun. Hooray. Okay, that's another 60, but we need a lot more than that. Good Lord, we need more than that. Uh, what we can do, though, is kind of get stuff going. Do we have any extra amounts of coal? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to... Let's see. I'm going to pick up this coal. Is it F? No. It's, is it F? No. F? Yes. F is to pick up stuff from the belt or the ground. F. Okay. Because I have a plan. A slight plan here. You also need, oh, you also need iron. We're all starved for iron, sad times. It's, I don't know, it's it's the design here. Uh, it's because we're going such a long distance here. Normally you wouldn't have this problem, I think. Anyway, uh, we'll build half an array and that will um, help things immensely if we only do half. Okay, so if we do this, we can have this going this away. All right, so the idea with this thing, it's pretty cool. You put a splittery do on one side. Uh, actually, we need to do above, I think, there. Maybe here? I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Eh? Maybe? This has got to go this way. So if we do this this way... We also need some inserters as well. Many, many inserters. Let's see, we'll just build. Oh, we can't build any of them. Oh no. Okay, that's fine, that's fine, whatever. Let's see, we just need to do this. Okay, we can do that many. So, um, what we need to do is have This one moved over slightly to here, I believe. Then we can rotate this belt that way. Okay, and then this one. So the way this works is because we have two splitters on either side, it's only going to dump onto half the belt. Uh, this is a very clever design uh, come up, uh, created by JD Plays, and it's quite interesting the way it works. Uh, however, I have done something wrong here. I think I want to put it up one. I have done something wrong because there maybe? I don't know. So basically you need to get the coal coming in here. Oh, no, 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 of course not. Oh, no, no, I, I remember how we did this. Uh, yeah, we did a, hmm, it's a little bit too tall. Yep, we need to, do we have space on the bottom? No, we do not. Oh, no. Let's see. We need one more space. We need this to be there because we need to be able to do this. Okay, yep, okay. So this needs to move one space up. That is going to be of severe inconvenience, but it's okay. We're going to try. 
All right, it's fine. We will move it. Uh huh. Okay. What we can do is something like let's take this off and then reverse. No, 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 not not ghosty. No, no, no. Just pick up the belt. Thank you. And reverse. And then up. Mm-hmm. And then we're going to cancel that one for a minute. Until we can delete this entire belt here. But we can do this with nanobots, actually. We don't need to do this right now with this particular thing. We can just do it later with nanobots. Um, I think it's better than moving this entire array. But I'm not actually certain. It may not be better. So we'll just take this one. This is going to be our coal belt coming in. So what's going to happen is when we put the coal in here, it's going to go on the other side. So it's quite handy. Um, it's really, really useful for um, for this kind of array. And then when we have the other side, which is going to be over here, this thing is going to output up here and take the place of this belt going out, which is extremely handy. So let's see, we have no more belts. So I'm just gonna take the power lines across instead. I'm just click dragging. If you click on the power pole, it will connect there. And, oh, I can walk in the water, how nice. Okay, oh, okay, hold on. Eh, how do I get back up? There we go, okay. I was like, I thought I was stuck for a minute there. That was funny. Okay, and connect. So that is connected. And we can now do some other things like, we can actually move this up one. I think it's only one up as I recall, which is kind of handy because this thing can just feed onto the other side of the belt right now. Notice that a lot of this is quite temporary. Uh, and it's temporary because we have, um, Uh, hold on. Let me just get these guys primed real quick. Because we already have the coal anyway. It's like, let me just add coal to all of them so that we can just... Yeah, get rid of our coal because we really don't need coal in inventory anymore. Now, should we? What we can do is actually we can uh, not even remove that belt. Uh, and we can just take... put the coal on that line, actually. That might be a good idea. So I'm gonna press F and collect all of this lovely ore there. And then I'm not gonna connect this until I collect all of the ore. Let's just grab it, run it here. There we go, nice, very nice. Now, one ore belt like this, if it's full, can power a lot of smelters. Like, if you look at the Factorio cheat sheet, it's a really great resource, by the way. Uh, wait, did I connect it? Yeah, I did. Um, it's a great resource, and it tells you the ratios of everything, and you can connect an insane amount of stuff uh, on one coal belt. But what we're doing here is we're going to run it by the, the, um, the steam engine plant, and that is going to be our guarantee that the steam engines are fed first because we want power first not uh iron plates even though it may seem like the opposite on some days but trust you me you want to have power uninterrupted <laughs> definitely okay so let's see we want to have oh my goodness we still are just we're lacking everything oh no <laughs> so funny because we are actually producing very many things right now so it's kind of cool let's just stop that there grab the belts um, but I also want raw iron plates so that I can make more mining drills um, so that we can make uh, copper uh, automatically instead of uh, worrying about coal and stuff like that did I um, did I grab these nope they stopped working because they filled up now then, here, these ha oh, we have finished our technology, and I forgot, I didn't hear the sound. So sad times. But what we can do is get nanobot speed, I like that, but even more important, 
Let's get optics. I'm going to try to put lights around the place. I'm terrible at doing that. So no judgment, please. But I'm going to try. That's all you can ask, right? Is that a person tries? I hope. I mean, you can ask more, but you may not get it. You never can tell. Okay, let's put a little bit extra of copper there. Okay, very good, very good. And that is researching. And I think that I have the console command here. Let's see. I'm looking at it on my side monitor as we are working on stuff here. Okay, so note that I believe this will disable your achievements. Oops, how do you... No, I can't console even if I tried. Uh, hmm? Where? Oh, here it is. Okay, there we go. This is the command. If you if it's a slash C, it's almost always going to disable your achievements. But since I have all the achievements, I'm not worried. So we're going to make the thingy. Yes. Let's do it again. Yes. Okay. So we should have research queue enabled right now. I'm going to try to not queue too many things. Basic Factorio things, I might. But oh, the new stuff, I don't really want to do that. Let's see, what do we want to do? Electronics doesn't really give us anything, so let's start that, and then we can queue something afterward. Um, maybe speed? Maybe logistics science packs. Green science is going to open up a lot of text for us, so let's go ahead and queue that, and then we'll look at stuff after that. I feel like that's going to help us a little bit, I, but for everybody who's really new to this game, I don't want to get like way far ahead, because I want you to be able to understand what's going on and all that stuff. Okay, so let's put this uh, ore in these various machines. Now, I really need to get some more inserters going, so let's make those. Make all the inserters. In fact, make all the inserters. That's what I just did. Wow. I really made a bunch of... So basically, if you click Shift-click, it will make everything you have materials for. So I made 64. I queued 64 in my make EQ. And they will use the items in your inventory first. So, for example, if you have um, green chips, you can see I had more than... I have 53 because they require one each. So I had like 10 or something. So, yeah, we, we saved a little bit on that. I'm going to go ahead and just do this. If you click when and drag... The, dev the devs add this wonderful thing that you could... They, it basically sort of scans where there are entities that need power. And it will put a power pole um, not at max distance, but where it is actually needed. So I really like that feature. It's quite nice. All right. So we have a half an array of stuff. But we have run out of time. This has already gone very long. Um, but I hope you are enjoying, uh, I hope you're going to enjoy this thing. There is much stuff to discover. There are many funky texts to look at. I'm going to try to lithium processing. What is this? That looks fun. Anyway, there's all kinds of things in here and I hope you're going to enjoy this series. I definitely will. I know there's a lot of, a lot of cool stuff to research. Look at how many things there are. All of these like new icons and stuff. Look at this rich water. Pure neodymium, pure titanium, gold. I hope there are like byproducts too, because I love that part of like um, the scrap uh, uh, mod, the scrap whatever it was called mod. I love that one. Look at this exotic science packs, space science packs. I like that extending stuff like this. This seems really cool. So I am really excited to to do this, and I'm really. Uh, thrilled to like see what's gonna happen that's new so anyway i look forward to continuing this series for, with you uh, so anyway thank you so very much for joining me take care of yourselves and each other and i'll see you next time <laughs>